Hello, everybody. It's uh, Saturday, November, uh, December 13th, 2014. Go ahead, Sabrina. 12, 13, 14. Yeah, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> uh, we have a lot of new people here today. Thank you for coming. Uh, it's good to see you. Hi, and welcome. welcome. Sabrina, do you have anything for us at the, for the beginning? Yes, um, I'd like to welcome all the new members, and um, I hope you enjoy this webinar, and let's see who, who shows up today. Um, like I said before, the questions we will put on the side, and also remember to mute yourselves if it's not your turn to uh, speak. So that's normally how we do it. So hello, Audrey. Darren, Ivy, uh, Hyan, Jenny, Rose, Shirt, and Sondri. So welcome everybody. And uh, well, yeah. I will uh, ask if there's anybody you want to uh, particularly have come, if there's any requests, I can request them. They don't always come, but I can do requests. But um, uh, for the most part, I always ask uh, Takur, Pentium, and Lakesh to stay on, uh, on the side there in case uh, nobody else wants to come. But uh, does anybody want to have any questions, actually, or want to hear somebody any particular? Lennon. Somebody, wants yeah. somebody wants John Lennon on the side there. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would like to ask uh, Elijah the Prophet, actually. I have uh, something intriguing in mind. Okay. Um, Gabriel, I'll you. Hello. Okay. Who? Gabriel asked to, to be a uh, channel. Oh. Uh, he wanted to hear Douglas, I think. Yeah, but let's let's ask who who's from the people that are here today. Okay. Anybody um, else? Audrey or Darren? Do you have who? Do you know what you want to ask? Do you guys know what you want to ask? I do. Okay, yes, anybody know. else know? Yeah, I know. Um, is it in reference to what? Is it in reference to the colonies or hybridization, something like that? Then we yeah, have the to okay. take care of the colonies. Like Takur or Pentim would answer those questions. So, yeah. Very good. Alrighty then. Um, if there's no further questions or comments, anybody have any questions? I do. Can for you me? Really hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, the ones that are speaking through technology. Yes. Do you know those beings? Technology to speak through us at this point. The spirits do not. The angels do not. But the aliens, most most of them do. So it could be any of them that are talking, like through the radio or through, t like the tablet yes. or whatever. Yes. Any of them. Many of them are talking. Uh, you mean the aliens? I don't. Yeah, know they're who. talking. The aliens are the ones talking through technology. Uh, the angels and spirits do not. So if, if you're talking to an alien, 99% of the time they're, they're using technology to get where they're going. They come into you, uh, like Lakesh can come into me, but he's still using technology to do that. So... To, uh, Lakesh is the one that comes into me. Grindel also comes into me, but I don't feel him. So, but I do feel Lakesh. So, they're, they're but they are still using technology to do that. Oh, okay. But I'm talking like through the radio. Can they actually speak to us through that? 
can they actually they can probably speak to you through the radio that's a form of technology uh, so if you're getting a message from your radio that's a possibility yes they've done uh, several different things they've uh, talked to people through channels they've talked to people through uh, electronic devices through the television and things of that nature so they can do the radio as well I'm sure and it can be any of them, those are alien ones? I would think that most likely it would be somebody that would have a, mess, a particular message for you that would use the radio. Yeah, so, it was, um, it was a, a particular message for me, and um, I just didn't know who was doing it. Okay, so why don't we okay. start and let's see who, who comes through. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Has, um, yeah, they sometimes don't identify themselves. So you're yeah. Right. Okay, hold on. Let me. Uh, I'll see you in a little bit, and I will talk to you soon. It is the one called Elijah, the spirit known as Elijah, the being Hello. known as Elijah. Yes. Hello, Elijah. I've come for one thing. What, what is it that you need to know from me? Elijah, um, I have a question for you that actually could also benefit you. Yes. Can you tell me who have you been reincarnated to in this life? I will be reincarnated as myself later, but not quite yet. In this life, I am reincarnated, but the, the name is not important at the moment. Um, I have a good feeling that I know a fraction of your soul, maybe, in Israel. Yes. Who are you speaking to there? I'm speaking about Matan. Elijah? Coming through. But I understand why you asked the question. It is not yet my time to be Elijah again. The spirit of Elijah, in a lower form, is here on your planet in some ways. But I will come back as myself again one day. Not too far in this planet's future. But right now, I am not in my fullness. 
Do you understand? Yes, I understand it. I know yes. that uh, a part of you is actually in uh, a part of my friend's soul. We discovered yes. that. Yes, I am not in my fullness as of yet. But are you aware of your soul manifesting in this life? Yes, part of it, yes. So and the reason why it's only part manifest is... I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. And I cannot allow it. What? Your mind I did out. not hear that. I said I cannot manifest fully in this generation because that would change the future. Okay. Um, I have another question. Yes. Um, a few weeks ago, I had a, converse, a conversation with Source. After that conversation, it uh, came to my knowledge that I have a golden aura. Can you explain me about that? Yes. A golden aura? Your, this is a whole huge subject right now. Because now that the fourth dimensional energy has been awakened in the human race, you will find that there's two more chakras above the third eye and the crown chakra, a white and a gold chakra. And to activate those, it takes love and good deeds and intention for purity. Does that make sense to you? Yes, it makes sense to me. Now that these two chakras are able to be understood, you will start learning about them. May I ask the question? They are newly, un newly found. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Um, what is the the one to the back of the the crown oh, chakra? The crown chakra is violet, but then above that is a white. In the aura, there is a white chakra and a gold chakra within the aura around you. Do you understand that? They are not part of the body, but they are yeah, part yeah. of the spirit. Isn't there three? I feel like there's three. Three above the... Well, if you count the crown chakra as the violet one, those three are very spiritual. The, the crown, violet, then the white, then the gold for creation and beginnings and purity. And White is pure, but gold is the creative essence. Okay, would the white one... Um maybe feel like it comes from the back of the head? It comes from above the head, actually. You will feel it in your, sh in your auras. Now, there's seven layers of the auras, and wherever this, these chakras are in your auras tells you of your elevation. If they're closer to your head, they're... they're not as high. If they're farther away from your head, you are more elevated. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, because whenever I open my crown chakra, it feels huge. It feels like it's yeah. really big. Is there a silver chakra too? What chakra are you speaking of? Silver. The, when you open it, you feel huge. Hello? The crown chakra, the, the, the violet one? Yes. It feels like a big funnel or something opening up, like huge, like in gold light coming down through it. Yes, that's good. That is a good thing, yes. You have opened it up, yes. And you are, 
you will understand that these chakras that are within the auras are very spiritual and move you up quickly. I do not think that anyone has spoken of them yet. Uh, they have not. Sandri, did you have a question? I have a question. Uh, I was wondering about our carbon DNA being transformed to crystalline. Is that going to be taking place soon? It's slow. It's, that is a slow process. It's like creating a diamond out of coal. Because under pressure, under the intensity of spirituality, it will change. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. The intense spirit changes things, makes things brighter, lighter, and more transparent. Spirituality is actually a very transparent state. Will we see this in our next year? No, so? you will not see this soon, but it is moving forward. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody, anybody else have questions? Yes, I have. Go ahead. Yes. Do you hear me? Yes. Yes, yeah. just speak a little louder, please. Yeah, I wonder about the silver chakra. The silver chakra and the white chakra are the same. Okay, thank you. Uh, how is my chakras uh, regarding silver and gold? Your silver and gold chakras are activated and you're moving forward with them. They are in the second and fourth realms of your aura. Okay, thank you. Can I ask you another question? Yes. Uh, is there uh, any aliens around me? Yes. Okay. There is. From where? And you are aware of them as well because they are, they act around you and you perceive them. Do you not? Yeah, I feel it. But yes. I don't know who they are. They're Yagil and Pleiadian for the most part. Okay, thank you. I have you are welcome. question. Thank you. Yes, you do have aliens around you also. Those people who come to the human colony usually get alien support. Okay, have I been to the colony yet? Yours, however, you have an Octorian with you. Yes. That is because your spiritual, your spirituality is more Octorian than it is Pleiadian or Egil or Lyran or any of the other ones. You were closer to a higher density, a lower density, I should say, but a higher level. Okay. What other questions do you have for me? Sure. What had another question? I have. Sure. Oh, have have I oh, been have to the colony? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Who is speaking? Sondre. Sondre. It's Sondre. Hello. <laughs> have yes. I been to the colony yet? I will ask one of the, those people from the ship if you have. One uh, moment. Sorry. You are scheduled to go, but you have not gone yet. Okay, I've heard that for a couple of months now. But it's been a slow period for them. They've okay. had a lot of work to do with the weather, so now they things will clear up a little bit after these last cold fronts, and then you will be able to go. Okay, thank you. But they want you in a more concentrated area. They want yeah, you to be... I reason they want you hear. in I the health and education. I cannot health. hear. You cannot hear me? No. I didn't Can you hear, hear me what now? you said. Yeah, I hear you now. But I didn't hear what you say. Ah, uh, they, they, they want you...
No, I cannot hear. It's no sound. Yes, we have. Did you hear that? No, we can hear you now. We didn't hear what you said before. They wanted to give her a more concentrated effort. Did you hear at that time? No, just concentrated effort. That was all I heard. Interesting. One moment, please. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, I heard what you said now. Can you hear me now? I hear when you ask if I hear you. That's the only thing. They want you for a concentrated effort on telepathy, channeling, and health and health and education. Okay, okay. I see. Now I heard you. Very good. Yeah, thank you. Good. Sure. Yes. Sure. <laughs> Elijah. Yes. My first question is uh, if I was able to bring you to this channel now that I ask for you, that I prayed. You asked for me and what? No, just uh, before Jim started to chanting, I asked for you. I sent an intent. Ah, thank you. I received it. Oh. Will I be able to channel you in the future? Hopefully when I will start to channel. If it is possible, I will come to you. Okay. Can you tell me why I can't channel yet? It is not your time yet. Things happen in their own times, and when you learn to channel, it will change everything that you do. In a good way. In a good way. <laughs> um, also, um, I know that in one of my uh, previous life, I was very, very powerful and very, very evil. Apparently, I was a witch. Um, yeah. But... I have been told that I will be able to tap to that uh, kind of power in this life, only I have to fill my intentions with love. Do you must, yes, you must go through a purification period where the darkness is turned to light. And you will know how to do that when the time has come. And you have already started it in some ways. You've already brought much light through where there once was darkness. However, the power is not even close to being complete. Yeah, there's something I should do? I cannot tell you on this how to do it. It is more complicated than that. But yet... Simplicity will be the answer in the long run, but there are things you must do before it becomes simple. Okay. Um, like what? Meditation? Well, there has to be meditation, but there has to be purification processes. What is uh, purification? Purification processes from past life entities. Sandy probably could tell you how to do that. Sandy? Who's Sandy? She is right here beside me. I, okay. Uh, I do the past life impressions, the um, Dolores Cannon method. Um, I'm still very new to this, so maybe later you could explain to me. I'll be, it will be very yes, much appreciated. <laughs> It, it would take some time, so we should not be dwelling on that right now. Yes. And, thank um, you. Oh, thank you very, very much for coming. It's a great honor.
Anybody else have any more questions for him? Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Um, can you speak a little bit more about the chakras and information you want to give us? The chakras in the auras, is that what you need to speak of? Yes. First of all, the crown. Let me see if this connection is holding. One moment. When from this location, oh. and it is an entity. Yes, it's an entity distracting this signal. This signal does not break up like this usually. I can tell that. Can you hear me now? Yes, we've been. We've been. That that entity has. It seems that uh, it's been doing that for, for quite a few webinars lately. Well, the last few have been in this room. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah. That is why. The chakra, the crown chakra, is that of realization, life, understanding, and creativity higher than yourself. Do you understand? The chakras above that, that are in the auras, take care of spiritual balancing and spiritual creativity. There is such thing as spiritual creativity. When you learn to balance with the third eye your spiritual life and get everything into balance, then the chakras above that tap into higher elements of spirituality, creativity, integrity, understanding, higher wisdom, dimensional congruity, and eternal wisdom, which can be brought forth and down through. It is a very interesting element to add to your understanding because it has not been understood before. It has been used by many throughout the ages, but no one has understood them. Does that help? Yes, when you say, um, uh, when you get a balance of spiritual life, um, what exactly are you referring to? The third eye is that the chakra of balance for let me explain this when your when your third eye chakra is balanced then you have clarity of thought emotional equality but you're able to control different things in your life much better if your third eye chakra is out of balance you can feel fatigue, uh, misunderstanding, be disoriented, and not understand, be forgetful. If the third eye chakra is unbalanced or going too quickly, you can experience, if it's taking in too much information too quickly or moving too quickly, which you can do, you can experience um, hallucinations, disorientation, and things. You're breaking up again. To do such things. However, it can occur naturally with the body chem chemicals. Does that give you a better understanding of the third eye, how it balances? I know. I can tell you some things to tell you how to balance it, if that's what you prefer. That would be good. Thank you. To balance the third chakra, 
meditation helps a great deal. There are similar, certain aromatherapies that are uh, very helpful, like myrrh and other things. Gemstones such as amethyst and tourmaline. Um, different things can help balance the third eye chakra. Um, I believe much of this information is on your internet. But to balance your third eye chakra is important for your clarity of thought, for your emotional balance, and for your connection to soul, for your connection to all other things as well, because once you're in balance, the channels open much easier. For those of you who want to We can hear you at the moment. Brain for that opening to the channels. You will find that you will find all the different things that you need for your life will become more clear. Now, I fear that most people in this day and age on your planet do not have a balanced third eye. In fact, things move much too quickly on your planet, and you need to relax, meditate, and use aromatherapy, therapy, gemstones, or whatever you need to balance that third eye so that you can tap in to the things that you are searching for in this world, your third dimension, your spiritual dimension, because the third eye connects to it all. Now, moving up from that is the crown. When the third eye is balanced, the crown is open. The crown is life-giving. If you, whenever you die, that's where the spirit leaves. The spirit, when you, when you, when you call it dying on your planet, when you leave your spirit, when you leave your physical body in the spirit, let's put it that way, it will go out through the crown, and the crown is the life. It is the part. It, that is attached to eternity, it pulls out from the soul, the soul pulls out, and this is where it is also connected to the white and the gold. The white is the purity and the filter of the crown. It, it filters the crown when it leaves the body, but you could also tap into it as you Pure. The gold is the creative beginning of the universe. That chakra. We're not getting everything you're saying because I think the spirit, it's. Um, no. not, Does that make sense? To we didn't hear the last of, of what you said because the sound is breaking up again. The gold chakra, did you hear? You did not. No. What was the last thing you heard? What was the last thing you heard? What was the last thing you heard? I think when you were talking. Uh when you you said the the first few minutes I we heard and then the la then it broke off and then we could hear you so it's I'm sorry that was a good piece of information yes I don't know if, uh, if... it was about the crown the crown chakra is the the where the soul enters and leaves. Did you hear that part? Yes. Did you hear about the white chakra or the silver chakra? No. No. The white chakra is the purification chakra. Once the soul leaves the body or comes in, it passes through the purification chakra in the auras. It purifies the during your lifetime as well to purify your spirit. Did you hear that? 
we heard it purify and then during our lifetime it purifies the spirit yes you can use it to purify your spirit because it's a purifier the white chakra in the aura also the gold chakra above that is the creative essence chakra it is that chakra that brings you to wherever you are to be and puts you in the form that you are to be in does that make sense to you yes it is the creative essence of the beginning of everything which many still cannot understand I am sorry that it is so difficult to communicate it's okay I, I know um, Jenny has a question yes hello is it me Jenny okay. me this one yes. yes you okay cool yeah since I've had my upgrade um, I've had this I can create a shiver that goes through my electrical system my nervous system does this have something to do with these two chakras that you're talking about? Because it almost feels like it comes from here and here and they meet together and it just goes like a shiver through my system. It can be if it is part of spiritual awakening. If it is just physical, then it may not be. But the chakras that are in the aura are spiritually oriented and can affect because spirit, emotion, body all connected in one way or another. So yes, if you intend them to be brought into a purification, these shivers can cause purification if you connect to the white chakra. When you said it, it purifies, that's what made me think about it, because that's kind of what it feels like, a jolt. And I used to be able to do it in meditation when I would think about science class and putting your eyes in the, the eye cleaners, when the water hits your eyeballs, it's almost that sensation would create it, and now I can just do it, but it feels like it comes from back here, this connection. Yes. Then do, it do those is chakras spiritual. have anything to do with the optical nerves and what we see and perceive? Does that, does that um, connect to the mind's eye and the yes. empathic hearing? I highly do a highly developed silver or white chakra can help you perceive things and see more realistically what the spirit wants you to see. Does you, that make sense to you? Yes. Like being in their frequency and vibration, like things we connect on. Yes, a spirit. Yes, what and see that? it from a spiritual standpoint instead of a third dimensional standpoint. Right. Okay, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else have a question? Is there one more question? <laughs> yes, I have one more question. It's uh, Sandra. Sandra. Yes. Um, I wonder, uh, is my third eye chakra in balance? <laughs> For the most part, it can, there is some wavering of the third eye chakra in your case where certain relationships are concerned. You let them, you let them pull it out of balance. Let it put me put it that, that way. Keep it in balance and the, do not let emotions pull it away too far. Okay, my my um, relations. Yes. Okay, I see. Mm, thank you. You're welcome. I will go now with the. Yes. Um, I wanted to ask you, what do you think about uh, everything that happens in Israel in the? Jewish Kingdom, if you have any opinion. I do. I have known about the Jewish Kingdom for many, many thousands of years. 
and it will continue in the same direction. There are the 12 tribes that are all opposed to one another for the most part. Some have joined, but most have their own ideals, understandings, and pre presentations and protocols. Therefore, they will not accept each other because they have not accepted each other for so many thousands of years already. The problem with that is they believe they are all right. They believe their concepts are very proud and good. Pride will destroy them. I think it already did. Yes, I believe that they are on their way down, yes. I cannot say more. Yes, it's uh, understandable. Um, one last thing. Um, will I know before I will start to, to channel, before I will start using my powers for say? Yes, you will know. You will always know ahead of time something is changing. It will just come it, out of its own. I don't. You can it, meditate. Yes, you can help it to come faster with in, intention, meditation, clarification, purification, and things of that nature. But it it will not come before it it is able to be useful. Okay, and. Um, one last question. Do you really drink all the wine that we leave you on Passover? That is a very good question, and no, I don't drink it. But, symbolically, I drink in all the thoughts and, and all the spiritual thoughts that are given. And so does God, and, or should I say spirit, and many of the others come and do visitations on that day to bring them closer. Um, is there anything that you want me to say to Matan? To who? To Matan is um, a fraction of your soul, apparently, from what we have discovered. Oh, yes, because you, you blinked out there. I did not hear the name. This is something that I've already spoken to you, I believe. You know this in your head already. Okay. But do you know what I'm saying? Do you understand? Uh, you're kind of breaking up, so maybe I didn't tell you in the first time. It's, can you repeat it? Yes, I already told you in your head before. What to say to Matan. But I will repeat it if that is okay. Yes. That the power is his if he likes it, if he wants it, and if he knows what to do with it. That's all I will say. Okay, I will pass it on. Is um really loved and been taken care of, if you're yes. glad to know it. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry that it's been such a disruptive session. Hello, Elijah. Yes. This is Hayam. Yes. Uh, first of all, thank you for being here. You are welcome. So, you have been talking about these other chakras, and I have also heard about the hollow chakras, which is placed in the back of your neck. Yes, the angelic chakra, as it's sometimes called. Yeah, the heavenly chakra, or something. Yes, the one that moves from back through from the throat chakra. Yes. Yeah, behind the throat actually, chakra. know about it. 
it is sometimes the chakra which enhances channeling, enhances thought processes, and brings in extra sensory perception at times. Also, angels love it because it is easy to come in through that area. Mm -hmm. And is that also the connection between the light body and the, the regular body? In some senses, yes. The sense that it is a connection to another doorway, there are more than one connection to other doorways in the body. But it is one of the main ones, yes. Okay. Because I'm thinking about when people have out-of-body experience, they, they often feel there is a cord going to the yes. back of their neck. Of the, it is part of that which is connected to other places, yes. Okay. Um, the the one is the second one is back uh, behind your sacral chakra, so in your back. Correct, the lower spine. Yeah. What is that for? That is for helping for grounding. That is helping for moving uh, energy around in the body. That is for um, creativity. There's many things it's for, but it's also for health in the uh, organs. You can use it, you can awaken it to help add energy to, it, in fact, it actually brighten, it can brighten all the chakras. It is the base chakra between the base and the sacral so that it can activate all the chakras. It's an activator, a catalyst, if you will. Okay. It sounds a bit like also a sum up of the lower chakras. Yes. It it connects them all, but it, it brightens them all. It can, can it can activate all the chakras actually. All of them. Okay. Okay. Very good. Uh, I also want to move to another topic which is uh, Jews and Israelites and your connection to to that. My connection is through the Jewish faith. In the, in the third dimension, I was a great prophet, and I had great powers. I could do miracles and do many wonderful things and show people that God was spirit and was very powerful and creative. But... I also passed that power to Elisha, if you remember. And he became almost as powerful as I. But I never died. My spirit never left my body on earth. I was assumed into heaven, if you remember. Do you remember that? What was the last thing you said? I was assumed into heaven. They called oh. it a chariot of fire, but it was actually a spaceship of some sort. Uh -huh. I did have some hybridization. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, because I did not die. If you would check the biblical scriptures, they are correct when they say that I was assumed into heaven. So you were taken by a spaceship? Yes. Wonderful. Which race? I cannot say. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And the Israelites, are they... What's their connection to, to the, the... They say that they are not from, from here. Correct. The they were here to help the Ascension back then. There was an evolution back then from lower man to a higher thinking man. If you will notice that there was a dark ages, but that was well after this evolution, but it went uh, down instead of up for a while because many outsiders from um, different places 
uh, poisoned the earth with many different diseases. Mm. They were trying to wipe them out, but... Yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Ivy? Hello? Yes. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, I have two questions. Yes. One is, do I have any, or my family, kids, have any space friends around us, visiting us, or taking us up in their ships? You have visitors around you. You have, there's a relative that's been to the colonies. You have been to the colonies once. Oh. I, oh. No, you have not been. Your relative has been to the colony once. You have been visited by a different species, though. Okay. okay. Actually, three different species have visited you. One was a reptilian visitor. Mm -hmm. One was a Virgin visitor, and the other was Pleiadian. Okay. The um, My but youngest daughter... Is the one that's been to the spaceship, I believe. My youngest to daughter. The colonies. Yes. Oh, okay, because she did she mention. To go. Oh, was she? she the... Was part of me? I cannot oh, I'm sorry. hear you. No, no. She mentioned one time that she felt a uh, pat on her head. And she turned around and yes. she saw a lady with a purple cape, and she disappeared in a yellow light. Was that the Pleiadian that visited her? I do not know what they were wearing when they visited. I do not was not aware she saw any of them. Yes. But now that you have said that. I'm sorry. A purple, purple cape would actually be more Lyran than Pleiadian. Oh. Um, I, but uh, yes, perhaps it was. I am not certain of that for sure. Okay. And so my youngest daughter is the one that went to the colonies then. Just for yes, a short period of time because she asked to go. Oh, okay, okay. Now, I just one more question: Was I marked by the reptilian? I was one time. I was showering and then I felt like burning, a burning feeling on my shoulder. Yes, that is the bur that is the mark. Oh. It is a, it's a burning feeling, and usually there's some scratches. Mm -hmm. Yes, I had that. I was surprised. Um, Obviously, that you were someone of importance or someone that you want to watch because of your high spirituality or knowledge of something that they're interested in. Oh, I see. Okay. I know other people that were marked in the same way. Oh, I see. And one more question. One time I was watching television at nighttime and I could swear I felt like four or five beings on the side of me. Yes. Can you tell me who they were or was I just imagining that? No, they were the Pleiadians. Those were the Pleiadians. Oh. They come sometimes Pleiadians whenever they're going to do something come in either twos or threes. Oh, I see. Wow. Okay, that answers a lot of my questions. And, and sometimes, again, when I'm showering, I don't understand why I, during the shower I get all I get messages. Uh, can you tell me who they're from, or is it my higher self, or are they actually messages from um, other beings? Whenever you are under the water, it is symbolic of being under the waterfalls of the Native Americans, and some in some planetary systems, the waters have very significant values to them, and therefore it's a flashback 
and you get messages from your other lives. Oh, okay, okay, alrighty. Well, thank you, thank you very much. You're welcome. Does that okay. make sense to you? Yes, a lot. <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Elijah, um, this is Sabrina again. Um, yes. Could you tell me what is the connection of the uh, Jews and the Elohim? The Jews and the Elohim have a great connection many thousands of years ago. They, they saved each other from great harm. They had to protect themselves from another species and therefore connected themselves together. And they were chosen to remain on the earth as a dominant species. Okay, can you tell us anything about the Elohim themselves? The Elohim are more spiritual in evolution now than they were back then. They were not exactly third dimensional, but they were higher third dimensional back those thousands of years ago. And now they are in definitely higher dimensions. They moved up quickly. But they are now similar in power to angelic forces. However, angels still are greater. But the Elohim is a great spiritual force that helps mankind. And always will because of the things that mankind has done for them. Does that answer your question? Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> I um, have a question too. Yes. Okay, Is there a connection between my um, seeing all the numbers of 11, 33, 22? It, I see them uh, every day and I live in number 11. What's the connection? There's several different meanings for those numbers. But the 11s are, is a double beginning for you. There's been two beginnings, and then they move forward, and there's if you put the twos together, it's a four. If you put the, the threes together, it's a six, and six is a power <coughs> number. So there's definitely some connections between the ones and the threes. Okay. Hmm. It's very interesting because I uh, I realized that it's uh, very important to me. Yes. Well, love is in between, though, in the four, I believe. Okay. Okay. So I have to look for the four. Love is in there, but it's two twos, which may mean there is something between that and love. Yeah. But there is a much more advanced numerical study once you get past third dimensions. So I cannot go into that with you now. Okay. However, oh, I see. Um, but right now I can see beginnings and power. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Does that make sense to you? you yes, to it does. Agreed. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Rose, did you have a question um, before it goes? Pegasus? I grounded myself and stuff so maybe he can get a better connection with me. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. I, I but I am giving as good of information as I can. Continue. Okay. You said the Octurians are around me. Is that part of my seed family or but I know I've been visited by others. Are they just the ones that are around me right now? Or am I Those are the ones that are around you right now. You've been visited by others. You are right. But the Arcturians took a special interest when you said about your um, 
higher auras in your in your chakra in your uh, auras, mm -hmm. the chakras in your auras. They came to investigate that. Are they the ones that showed up the day that I opened them all up? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. Does that you. make sense to you now? Yes, I was yes. wondering. Um, am Am I part of their family, or is that just... You do have a starseed connection, as they call it, on your planet. You do have a starseed connection with some Octorians. And a couple Pleiadians as well. And I, you know I'm in touch with my higher self all the time. That's how it started, isn't it? Yes. Your higher self is wise and knows how to manipulate the growth of your spirit and body and soul. Okay, so um, I, I have Palladians helping me out? Yes. Okay, but the Arcturians are definitely around me right now, creative and... Right now, yes. The Arcturians are around you at this moment, yes. Okay. At this very moment, yes. What what a star system are Arcturians? Well, they're part of the Pleiades, but they they stretch into other areas of of space as well. There's Arcturians all through the galaxy at this point, because they are almost fifth dimensional. But they are in Alpha Centauri, Orion, um, and all through the Milky Way galaxy. Okay, I had that feeling. I, very, I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Gabriel, do you have a question? <clears throat> yes, I, I'm wondering about, I'm going up and down, and for me it's hard to find where I want to be at, and I'm feeling myself, to, my world around me is trapping me. Do, I, do you have any tips for me? Yes, actually I do. You're the one with the orb. Yes, I haven't felt it in a... It is still there. It is still activated, and they're still activating it even more. What is happening is that you are not connected with it mentally as you should be. You're connecting yourself with negative things at your work, and... There's something else that you are connecting with. I am not sure what it is. But it is pulling you away from feeling the orb. Feeling the orb is not necessary for it to be working. For it to, but it is still working with you. You're just going through a growing period where you have to discover the lesson that is being learned at this time. So... Intention, one of your meditations, to understand the lesson that you are learning at this time and why you need to go through it. Does that make sense to you? The challenge part is that I'm trying to connect to positivity, but I get negativity and I can't seem to get that. Yes. Right. Well, when you do your intentioned meditation, connect to the orb then. Ask for your connection then. Because it will bring pop. You're disappearing. The negative energy, that is why you're not feeling the orb, is because you're letting the negative energy overcome what you're feeling. You see, feelings are only that at times. Just feelings. The truth is, there's a lesson to be learned here, and you must be learning it, but... You must go through some some things to learn it. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Can you all hear me still? Yes, we can hear you. Has um, it not been better? Um, Hyen, I believe, had another question. Where did the Israelites come from, if they're not from here. <laughs> the Israelites were a star seed as well. 
That is all I can tell you now. I cannot tell you where they're from because that will give away something in the future that I cannot, I cannot illuminate at this time. Okay. Okay. And is it also another race here on the planet that also came from outside? Oh, many, many of your races had seeds in the the heavens. There's no question. <clears throat> Okay. Mm. Uh, so, okay, I will pass the mic. Thank you. You're welcome. Brian, do you have any questions? Okay. Um, sure wanted to ask, sure. Hmm, yes. Um, Elijah, do you have a connection to the human colony? Not directly. I know of it. I approve of it, but I am not really connected to it. Okay. Um, two days ago, I saw a flash from outside of my room. It was kind of weird. Is there anything to do with the man in black, maybe? You saw a flash where? Outside of my room, into my room, through the window. Yeah. Is it a good thing or a, a bad thing? It is something to do with being watched, actually, yes. Should I be afraid or what? No. They will not dare touch anyone from the human colony at this point. Okay, so I'm being protected. Yes. That I do know. Okay, it's good to know. Yes. Um, okay, I'll let the other to ask... Uh, some questions. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's see. So the Arabic language, is it something, some connection with that from above? There is some connection, yes. You will find that Elohim and some of Earth languages do have some significantly similar portions. Also, the Hebrew language does have an alien beginning, as well as the Egyptian language, as well as the Latin language. Mm -hmm. Yes. Chinese. As well as Chinese. Of course, Octorian. There is some Octorian in the Chinese language. Mm-hmm, yeah. Did you notice that? Yeah, the different tones in the yes, same word. Yes, there is some Octorian in the Chinese language, and that would explain a little bit about that, yes? Mm-hmm. So how, how would that come to affect the language, you know? It, it just grew a different way than the Octorian language grew, but they did start it in some places, yes. I know that. Okay. Can you look into past lives? I can, to a certain extent, yes. In this, being where I am right now, it's more difficult, but I can. Okay. Is Elohim a language being referenced or are they referencing God? I was just asking Refer the group really is is when you say Elohim, are you speaking of God or is this a language you're talking about? El and Elohim are different, and God is uh, changed from just the L. That was part of a, a language, a a, a part in the language that meant God, right. but he is not 
live by that term. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was an alien language that you guys were calling Elo. That's what I was wondering. Elohim oh, is, yes, an alien language, but it's okay. also an, a language known to Earth. Okay, gotcha. I'll have to look into that. Thank you. Yes. I must go now. Elijah, this is Loha. Before you go, I have a question. Yes. Hello, Elijah. This is the first time I'm speaking to you, and it's, it's, a, it's a good uh, thing for me. Um, I have a question regarding the Middle East. Are you helping in having uh, the Middle East area war free? I do not help with those things. Your people oh. must work on that yourself. There is a lesson for the nations to learn as they crumble and harm each other. They will discover that they're only harming themselves. Yeah. I heard that around 2030, that area will come down. Not really soon. That I cannot say. But I will be back on Earth in that time. As oh. Elijah. Also. Okay. Perhaps. But I will still be very young. One more thing before you go. Please give us your blessing. Yes, I will give you a blessing. Thank you. Well, I appreciate it. O loving spirit, knower of all things, feeler of all things, and creator of all things, look down and bring this civilization up to where you want it to be. Love it into a greater existence. Love it into a greater understanding. Love it into pure integrity of your words for it. Let your understanding fall into the minds of those that are ready and willing to take up the mission of bringing the earth to a greater place, of bringing the earth to the place that it should be in peace, understanding, and goodwill toward one another. Bring the community together and bind it like it's never been bound before. Link us together all through the universe and together on the earth so that we may be able to understand each other, spirit and human and alien and angel, one to another, equal in many senses of the spirit. We give and glory to those who are working to do so, and to the one most beloved creator. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you for coming. We appreciate it. I must you. go now. Thank you. No, nope. you are all so welcome. Blessings and golden light for you. Blessings to you as well. Hello, I'm back. Jim. Hey. Hey. Oh, did, did my picture freeze? Yeah, it did. Many moons ago, huh? Uh -huh. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, um, how is everybody doing? Good. That's great. Good. good. That, that was that was really good. Oh, good. I'm glad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I forgot to bring water here because. We were having so many te technical difficulties, I never got up. <laughs> I know. The, uh, the, that sound broke off a couple of times. Uh, um, did the messages get through, though? For the most part, yeah. For the most part, yes. Um, but we were having some technical difficulties. At the end, I, I was sending some energy, too. So... 
Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Keep it going. <laughs> So, but it's okay. I have to. Oh my! I think my screen unfroze. I don't know how that's happening, but the screen unfroze. So, um, any questions for me before we go? And uh, Sabrina, are you going to do a, a closing prayer? Okay. Any questions first? I have a question. Sure. Hi, Jim. Hi. I'm Jenny with uh, Jamie and Misty and the girls. Oh, hi, Jenny. How are you? Yeah, my hair's up. I'm all just waking up. <laughs> you look great. That's Thank you. <laughs> Thanks what for was your question? question. Um, I was just wondering about your songs. Like, how's that going, and what can we expect to hear? Anything, or is there any? Oh, with the John Lennon songs? Well, yeah. John Lennon is not happy with a few things with them. So, we're reworking them. It's been a great deal of work, but um, he will have it his way or bust. Yeah. So um, uh, we're going to be working on those some more. He told me to listen to every single track because we do track on track recording, and he, he wants to hear every single track and then play it together because he wants to revamp some of them. So right now we're in the process of uh, uh, polishing. It is all, a lot of it's put on the tape. Uh, a couple of the vocals need redone. A couple of the string parts need redone. So we'll see. And he does not like the drum part. So um, we're working on that. Sounds good. Cool. Thank you. Because he does not like, does not like what the drums sound like. We had a live drummer come in do drums and that didn't work. We had people send drum tracks that didn't work. So he said, "I'm the only one that really knows what he what what the drums sound like that he wants." So I'm going to have to get a drum machine and write the drum part. So yeah. that's all there is to it. Yeah. And that's going to be fun because I never did that before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be fun though. <laughs> yes, but. Um, it's actually coming along. The actual songs in there, the lyrics and the music, the basic music, are done. Cool. The lyrics and music are basically done and sang. Yeah. But uh, yeah. there's a lot of the production values that are not there yet. So. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like John. Yeah. He is very intense about that. Yeah. Very intense. Yeah. He kept me up two nights in a row a couple days ago. So. Yeah. <laughs> He's a night owl. <laughs> I don't talk about that too much because there's still so much to do. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hear you. But they are there. The songs are, the songs are actually there, and I love the songs. Mm -hmm. They're great. Yeah, that's just the I'm excited to see the lyrics and stuff. So, I, But I know he's a perfectionist with, with, uh, with that, it's just, so it's all the timing. But yeah, it's he has to have a perfect production, yeah. He has to have a perfect production or else you'll never hear it. So mm -hmm. uh, so we're working on a perfect production. Cool. Well, good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Have fun. Thanks. Okay. I'm ready whenever you are. Okay. Go ahead, Sabrina. Okay. Talia katana na katu, kata kasia katana na na katu, kasi ali ali, katana na katu taru suru na katu, ali ya sana katu katu ko, muriyo katana kia kisi kia tu, tali katana na na skutu, ali ya sana rio to katana na na na, tiu skutu, ala tana sio kata kano, ala oto na na suku. Tolo no 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 ka si akata na na iyo so koto no no olia sa ni koto koto no 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 asa kata ni koto ta iyo sa ti yo to no no uso no ka tali yo so koto to olo no no ka asa tali ta ki yo so ko oto la sa ta na na ki olia na si o koto ka to Hola, tatu, onana, saka. Iyo, sanoku, 
Kokoussa, na kiu, kutu, kutu, kiu, na kiu, tu, kolo, sutu, na nuka, na kiu, tu, kolo, tu, wa, kano, wa, saka, tu, kutu, wa, kula, ni, yutu, kutu, si, otani, ni, yu, sana, kata, aya, na kousa, kiu, tu, ku, kolo, si, ya, na kato, so, tu, na, si, atalia, tu, na, kata, ti, o, sa, ti, o, tu, la, si, o, tu, tu, no, so, ru, a, ti, e, yo, tu, tu, no, kutu, skutu, wali, ya, tu, na, ka, ta, mi, o, so, na, ti, ya, ti, in great love. Your planet holds you in great love. And you feel her warmth daily, but you do not realize it. It is just like a mother loving her children from a distance. You do not always feel the love that she has to give daily. But also, what you do not realize is that you are perfect. You have perfect, perfect love, perfect understanding within yourselves. But your density does not permit it to shine as it should. So find it within yourself during your private times, what love there is for the world and for yourself. Bring out that light. Do not hide it, but let everyone know that your love is for all. And the love for all is showing all around you. Let Mother Earth know that you appreciate her as well, and that you are a child that appreciates all the things that she has given and sacrificed for. For a mother's sacrifice is greater than many things. For she has created and is protecting her creation. And now, let that love bring forth to all. Because all of you are created together. Why should you not love each other as a mother would love her child? Thank you, Jim. Um, before we go, I would like to um, tell members that donations are always welcome. Um, and uh, if you value the information being given here, and obviously is um, volunteer and you give whatever you can give, but um, Human Colony always welcomes donations. So we would appreciate it if you did. Thank you. Well, much love to everybody. Thank you for being here. I love I love you all, and um, I'm so glad to see new faces. That's really cool. Um, I love to see the old faces, too. Not, not that they're old, but... <laughs> the uh, veteran or the uh, people that have been with us for a long time. So, And thank you, Sabrina, for facilitating. And hi, Ann, thank you very much. Um, I appreciate your technical uh, excellence because my computer on my side is um, more of a jalopy than it is the shiny new car. But um, I appreciate you putting up with that. So thank you very much and much love to you. And uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day. I, yes, thank I you. I hope you all do. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Say goodbye, Sandy. I'm trying. <laughs> Bye. Love you. Bye, Sandy. Bye. Bye. I'm sorry, Sandy. <laughs> you didn't get in the picture. Right? You That's good. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, well, much love. Much love. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.